Kestrel Manor School, a center of learning catering for students with special needs. Today held a graduation for year six to seven and year 11 in a bid to help children with disability to help them develop into self-reliance and, and independent individuals. The students with special needs are equipped with different skills through vocational training, sorry, through vocational training that will be of value after completing their training, which includes transitional services to the next level of education or to the job market. This is the first graduation of its kind and the year 11 have been 11 students and uh, transition to high school are seven students. We have two pathways. We have the purely academic stream, which is from kindergarten to high school. Kindergarten uh, ages two and a half to five years. And then we have reception, which is like PP2. Next to, uh, to, to go to primary is five years to six. And then from there we have primary six years, key stage one, six years, uh, year, which is year one, year two, and year three is key stage one. So from there we go to key stage two, which is classes or year five, six, and seven. At the end of class six, they sit for exams. These exams are international. They sit for four subjects. Currently, they have introduced another subject. Those are English, Math, Science, ICT, and now they have introduced global citizenship. The, we, in our school, we believe in integration. Reason being, we, we typical people, whether we have a family member who has challenge or not, we, we meet them in the street. We meet them in our homes, we meet them in our parties and all that. Reason being, there is no world for special needs. That's why we have integration in our school. Reason, they learn to handle these children. When they meet them out there, they will not be among the people who will be stoning them or um, mistreating them because they don't understand them. So the integration helps a lot. So that as they learn along, and they have also realized that as they learn the special needs, they are talented in some areas, better than the typical children. So there's that respect. They have done even better in some areas. So we believe in integration. And for anybody, any parent out there, if you want to enroll your child to do academics, feel free to come. Your child will not miss out on academics. But they will have learned one thing, to know how to handle children with special needs. We, we take children with different levels of special needs, so long as they are not violent, so long as they are not, uh, they cannot disrupt any smooth running of the school. Uh, I'm Dr. Sylvia Moram of Chabo Akinsiku, the founder of Andy Speaks for Special Needs Persons Africa and the board director of the National Council for Persons with Disabilities where we champion for disability mainstreaming and it was indeed an honor to be here today to celebrate graduation and show the world that our children can actually do it. It doesn't matter what your limitation is. If we put in the right environment, give them the uh, equitable accommodation, give them the learning environment that they require and teach them how they learn on and not how we teach our children will be able to go far. The talents we have seen, the crafts we've been able to see that the children have done, is all because that parent stood up and decided to do something and not to just sit and have a pity party and say, oh my God, my child cannot, cannot. But that parent took the courage to accept and embrace their child and to step out and find an environment where their children are able to thrive here at KCCL. And we thank God for the environment that is fully inclusive. Like we've learned today, they serve from daycare all the way to high school and they even transition them into partner colleges. That is something that in government we need to see and see how best we can adopt these systems of integration and transition for our special needs children and see how the setups have been done here in the private sector and that way if we adopt we'll be able to help more children and the government and the, especially the Ministry of Education. This can be a benchmarking opportunity because it can be done and we have seen the alumni here speaking very fluently and the things they're able to do. One is already in Strathmore so it is possible and it is doable if we start early 
early intervention only comes if us parents take up the responsibility and embrace our children. I will not lie, it is not easy. As a parent and a caregiver, that one I can say for true. I can say this has been a good place for him. Since he joined this place, he's seen so many changes, especially, his, uh, let's say, generally. Uh, everything has been so positive. I think they need to do more because uh, basically we can say nothing has been done. These kids have been neglected in the past. No one knows uh, much about them apart from those ones who are in it. So I'd like to ask government or rather to request them to invest more in them. Maybe make it known to so many people because we have so many kids out there uh, who have not been uh, privileged to have such a facility. Uh, I would like to encourage them to be part of this group. Uh, one thing Castle Manor is, is the place to be. You need to bring your child out. They need to enjoy life. They need to be taken to school like any other. So I don't see the reason why you should keep your child at home, whereas we have such a place to be. Is to partner with parastatals like Kenya Power, uh, partner with CIC, also to partner with the, 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 the Disability of Kenya, uh, the Board of Disability of Kenya, persons living with disabilities, so that to see how we can work together and actually even NEC, NEC exam, examination body, to see how they can allow us uh, offer NEC courses and probably even ex examinable courses by NEC. And um, we are also looking into partnering with Oshawa College because uh, they offer business courses that can be done with our students after they are done. Also, CASNEP, CASNEP offer vocational courses, and we are looking forward to partnering and see if after year 11, can they take up the vocational courses with CASNEP. Now that's all for the news we had for you today. Up next is sports news. Stay tuned.